All right, hello and welcome to section two. We're gonna be covering Firebase here. And again, Firebase is the a product from Google that allows us to create a backend for our apps very quickly and very simply. You'll be amazed by how quickly we can get a login system up and running for a project, saving information inside of a database. It's just really awesome stuff. So what we are gonna cover here is first creating a Firebase project, getting it integrated with our Xcode project and then learning some basics about how to work around with Firebase. So the first video that we're gonna dive into is just how to start Firebase. Again, we're gonna create that new Firebase account and we're gonna get it integrated with our project. So let's go ahead and move on to it now. All right, so we have this new XC workspace, basically our local Xcode project here with some CocoaPods ready to rock and roll with it. And we've given it the proper name of SnapFun. But now we need to talk about how we can add Firebase to our project here. And this starts with creating a Firebase account. Again, this is a Google product, so you're gonna to have to have a Google account if you have Gmail, anything like that, a YouTube account, that's going to work for you. But let's go ahead and open up a browser and move over to Firebase. So if you just go ahead and search for Firebase, it should be your top result here. Here we go, firebase.google.com. And we'll just go ahead and click on this. So they're gonna have a nice little, you know, getting started guide here. I wouldn't recommend doing this necessarily right now more go ahead and create a new user account so if you go to sign in here use an existing account that you have or if you need to make a new one you can go through that flow but go ahead and put in your information here and then we'll move on to the next one okay so once you are able to successfully do that go ahead and up at the top here say go to console you know layout of this website might change over time but just find something that can get you to the console part of Firebase here. And basically what we're looking to do is create a new project. So you can see I've created some projects before. I've been working on the Snapchat app before we got to here and done some other fun stuff. But we want to go ahead and start a new project. For you it's probably going to look a little bit different because you don't have an existing project. But go ahead and click add project here. Go get it and give it a product name. I'm going to use the same name of our Xcode project that we created, SnapFun. So the other cool thing, this is a really awesome thing about Firebase, is that if you're going to make a cross-platform app, Firebase also works with Android. In fact, you know, it being a Google product, you might argue that it works even a little, little bit better with Android. And I've been very impressed with how it works for iOS. So if you're going to have an app that's going to be, you know, both on Android and iOS and maybe on the web, Firebase can handle all of that, which makes it really great. So... Go ahead, choose a name, choose your region, all that fun stuff, and let's create a new project. So we'll go ahead and let Firebase do its thing here. All right, and once it's ready, you can just go ahead and hit the Continue button here, and this will bring you into your Firebase project here. So it's going to tell you, hey, you know, you should get this kicked off with an iOS app or an Android app, whatever it is, and we want to do iOS. So go ahead and click here for getting started. And uh, first thing that we need to do is provide our bundle ID. And the way to get this piece of information is we need to go back to our Xcode project, click on your project here. This is, you know, inside the workspace. It should be your top one. And then if you go to your project and under general, under identity, you should see bundle identifier. So whatever that is, go ahead and copy this. You can always come back and change this later, uh, both here in Xcode, but you would also have to change it on Firebase, but go ahead and just paste in what you have for now. You can give your app some sort of nickname. I'm just going to call this maybe Snap Fun iOS so we can, you know, specify what that is. App Store ID, we haven't submitted this app to the App Store, so you don't need anything there, and I'll just leave that blank. So I'm going to register the app here. Okay. Next step is we need to get this Google Service Info.plist, and so just go ahead and click this to download. And I'm going to give you a warning here if, you know, you've gone through this a couple of times and you've had multiple Google service info files, you need to be careful that your, you know, computer didn't automatically rename one of them. So when you have that downloaded, you want to open up your Xcode project and just basically bring this into it, all my other like view controllers and stuff. So I'm going to click on this download that we have. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm going to bring it in just amongst my files here i'm going to say yes go ahead and put that in and you can see i've downloaded this file before in fact i've downloaded it so many times that it called it google service info dash five because it's been downloaded five times so you just want to make sure that after info there's no dashes it's just a dot plist so if you've downloaded multiple files you need to make sure 
like me, you delete whatever's after that and just go ahead and hit enter so that now has the new appropriate name. But basically this plist file inside of here, this contains all the information and to make your app automatically connect with the Firebase backend. And so this is important information. You don't want to just visibly be showing this to the whole world. Like if you're going to submit an app to the App Store, if someone has this information, they can essentially go tamper with all of your data in the back and potentially get to your user's information. So this is not a file you want to be sharing, but I'm just creating a little example app. This is never going to see the light of day on the App Store. So I'm fine showing you this, but it's kind of cool that Google just wraps this all up into one file here. Now with this in place, we can go ahead and go back to the flow here. We can say we've done this, go and continue. And this is where things get exciting. The whole reason we learned CocoaPods is that we can add Firebase here. And so we're gonna add this pod called Firebase slash core. In fact, just go ahead and copy what we have here. And we're gonna come into Xcode and go to our pod file and just paste this. Now, one thing that I wanna emphasize here is that I want you to use a specific version of Firebase and it's gonna be whatever the current version of Firebase is now as I'm recording. And so I'm gonna add this to my pod file. Don't do this yet on your own computer. Just let me go ahead and add this first. So I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna hit Command S to save this. I always like to close out of my workspace before I go do some stuff in the terminal when it has to do with Cocoa Pods. So I'm gonna go move again into my desktop here. I'm going to move into that snap fun, right? I should see my pod file okay, and I'm just going to do my pod install. And once I do this, this is going to go out and get the Firebase code. Now it looks like the current version of Firebase is 5.0.0. So I'm going to make sure that I now go specify that. And that's the one that I want you to specify too, because, you know, as the time of watching this, there may be Firebase 5.1, 5.2, but I don't want you to, you know, move ahead of me for instance, and, you know, have different things. And you'll notice I only specified Firebase, but there's all these other different items coming into here. And that's because P Cocoa Pods can reference other Cocoa Pods as dependencies, saying, you know, if you're going to install Firebase, I guess in our case it was the Firebase core, it needs to install Firebase, Firebase Analytics, Instance ID, Google Toolbox for Mac, whatever this Nano PB is like. These are just other projects that it's going to go out and grab, okay? So with all of that in place, I'm gonna go back to Xcode here, open up my workspace. So what I want you to add here is Firebase slash core comma, and then inside of new single quotes 5.0.0. Save your file, go ahead and save this pod file. You can close out of your workspace. So again, I want you to do 5.0. Even if there's a new version of Firebase, I want you to use the same one I'm using so you don't have any difficulties for the rest of this course. So go ahead and save that. Come back to the terminal here and just like I did, do a pod install. Mine's gonna go a lot quicker because I already had that code there, but that'll eventually take you to your finishing point, okay? So with that all in place, go ahead and open back up your workspace that you had before and go ahead and do Command B to build your project. And we just wanna make sure that everything's working and looking good. As long as you get a build succeeded, let's go back here and we'll say continue that we were able to do this. And then lastly, we're just going to add this configuration code, which first we've got to go to our app delegate and import Firebase. So let's do that. We're going to go to our app delegate and we're going to say import Firebase. And you can see we're getting the autocomplete, which is a really good sign that things are working. And then we're going to go add this line of code, Firebase app.configure. And we're just going to go ahead and copy this come back and, and this is inside of the did finish launching with options before it does the return. So I'm gonna do this Firebase app.configure with this in place. Let's go ahead and run this on the simulator. I'm gonna use iPhone 8. That for me just happens to be a good size device. You can pick whichever device you would like, but we just wanna see that we can at least get our app to load up and have everything showing there. So we'll go ahead and give a second for the simulator here to go ahead and get itself open and we can go ahead and say finish here that we were able to do everything. So let's go back to Xcode and wait for our simulator friend. And I guess while we're there, we can take a little bit of a look at what we're gonna be getting into. These are the different parts of Firebase. So authentication, this is gonna allow us to make it so that users can create accounts and then sign into those. 
Database is where we're going to be storing information about, you know, this person sent a snap to that person and it had this caption and the image, you know, is located at the following URL. The storage, that's going to be where we, you know, actually save image files and whatnot and all those good things there. And those are sort of the big three that we're going to be working with inside of our app. So, you know, stay tuned for that information. And it looks like our app opened up here. You know, we haven't added anything, so it's just a white screen. You know, don't really expect anything going on there. But it all looks good, so 